homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today we are uh, doing our last planting video for the 2023 season. Uh, we're going to plant six wheat beans. Now, here's our six wheat bean seed. If you look on here, they're from 2018. Okay? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. These beans are five years old. The germination rate will probably be through the toilet. Uh, and when I say through the toilet, I mean 70 or 80 percent. Next year, they'll probably be 50 percent. Then after that, you don't ever know if they're going to come up at all. So, I want to plant these, and I want to plant enough that we have shuck beans for the fall, and that we have uh, plenty of seed. Now, this bag was full five years ago, and then I had another two more quarts. I had a gallon and a half of uh, six-week bean seed. Now, uh, this year I'll plant these and see how they come up. And if they come up good, I'll do these just like soup beans. Nothing goes to waste on our homestead. Uh, I'll cook these just like soup beans and uh, pinto beans, and they'll be great, and then I'll have my seed for the next upcoming year. So now, and I'm going to have to build a seed. I don't want to uh, string these. Uh, I'll put up a picture of uh, what Appalachian people have always done to save beans. They string them up on a string. Uh, I just don't want to do that this year. There's going to be so many beans to save. I've got to save six-week beans. I've got to save uh, white greasies, speckled greasies, red cranberry beans, and white half-runners. So I've got five varieties <clears throat> of bean seed to save this year. And since I'm going to do that, I'm going to do something that will allow me to uh, save more all at once. So I'm going to build a drying rack, and I'll let you let you come along for that. I'm not going to do it today, uh, but I will in an upcoming video. Be certain that uh, if you like this stuff, to subscribe, because in upcoming videos we're going to do things like build a tractor shed and and some other stuff. So, okay. Now, what? Where am I going to plant these? Well, if you look. Right here's my garden, and what I want to do, this whole section is just going to be six-week beans, because the rest of the garden's done. You can see the weeds coming up pretty good in them. Uh, Paul would call that laid by, my grandfather. Uh, I've still got to harvest our uh, tomatoes over here. I haven't got a ripe one yet, but I hope, I'm hoping to get a ripe one today or tomorrow. So, so I'm going to plant a row here. I'm going to skip over and plant a row there. And what that'll do, it'll allow me to drive my tractor down through there. Okay, how am I going to plant my six-week beans? Well, I'm going to plant them like I plant all my beans with my Earthway planter. Now. The way this works, you put a planting wheel in here and it turns, and it picks up a seed and it drops it down a chute that deposits it in this, and then this cuts a furrow and that drags dirt over the seed so that the seed's covered. It's a real efficient little system. Uh, hopefully there are no spiders down in it, uh, but every time this wheel right here turns one complete circle. That's three feet, three feet of a row that it's rolled down, or in other words, 36 inches. Well, these plates that are inside there, 
for every time that wheel rolls one time, these plates roll one time. So this plate is for beans. This plate is for larger peas. So I'm going to use the bean plate. Now, I always thought beans and peas were the same uh, same thing. But according to uh, my reading last night, uh, I thought peas were beans and beans were peas. They're in the same genus, but they're a totally different species. Okay? They're in the same genus, but they're a totally different species. So, so they're not exactly the same. Uh, I treat them the same when it comes to planting them. Now, this wheel has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Has ten holes. So, what's it going to do at 36 inches? Well, at 36 inches, every 3.6 inches, it's going to put a seed and it may put two depending on the size of your bean seeds okay so every three inches down this row there's going to be a bean seed so every three feet there's going to be ten well there's uh, 33 sets of three feet down this hundred foot row plus another foot so it's going to drop 330 bean seeds in this one row each bean is going to give you 20 or 30 beans you can do the math Okay, there's a whole lot. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put two rows here, and I'm going to put one row up in the upper, up in the other garden, uh, where we planted our fall garden. You saw us plant our fall garden the other day. Uh, this is almost the first of August. About the first of August is when I plant my beans. Now, one of the reasons I do that is because of weed load. Uh, these six-week beans are a bunch bean. Or in other words, a bush bean, however you want to say it. We call them bunch beans in Appalachia, but bush bean is the is the correct term, I guess, nationwide. Uh, they, as we go down the row, as we as they grow, they just get so high. They don't. They wouldn't run to the top of the corn like our pole beans would. So, in planting these, I need to. Uh, plant them and then till between them I'll never hoe them okay in the late fall if you wait till August to plant these you don't have to hoe them uh, most of the weeds are gone you've plowed and plowed and plowed and most of the weeds are not going to germinate here in uh, August in the beginning of August they're going to wait and uh, they're going to germinate in the spring Okay, they're waiting on the soil temperature to be right for them to germinate. Well, in this heat, they don't do it. But these beans, they germinate just fine as long as they get enough moisture. So I plant them in August. Now these are six week beans. And what that means is you can harvest them in six weeks. My favorite bean. Uh, the beautiful part about these is if you plant them in, in May, you can plant them May 1st. And by July or by mid-June, harvest them. All right? Just pull the vines up and harvest them. Plant right back. Okay? Plant right back. Then in August, pull them up and harvest them. Plant right back. You can get three crops of these six-week beans if you were really needing these to survive. You could get three crops a year in the same piece of ground. That's a pretty awesome little bean. And they taste pretty awesome too. They're, they're my favorite bean as far as, as eating goes, and especially for making shuck beans. They're my favorite bean for making shuck beans. So let's get the plate in. And I love my little earthway planter. When I was a kid, we used to drop the seeds as we walked down the row. Number one, it wasted a lot of seed. Uh, and number two, you never could get the spacing perfect. But this Earthway planter takes all that out of, the, out of the thing. And number three, it takes twice as long. And you've got to bend over a little bit because if you stand straight up and drop those seeds, they 
fly all over the row. Okay? Uh, it was my job to drop them as a kid because I could bend over and mom and dad come back over and cover them. Well, I don't have to do that. It's all one operation with this Earthway planter. So let's get this plate in there, get it filled up, and plant some beans. It's still got uh, sunflowers in it. It's the last thing I planted. Get in there. There we go. Now, turn it backwards. And that's ready. That's too many, but uh, it'll be all right. Because I'm going to do three rows total. I'm going to do two here, and then I'm going to do two in the upper garden that I'm not going to show you. That is College Hill Cardio. Now, down through here, it's 100 feet, and every three feet, I drop 10 beans. Maybe 20 beans, but at least 10. So, we're talking about, about 325 beans down at 100 foot row and 325 up. So, in other words, I dropped somewhere around 650 beans. Remember how I told you it was too much in my planter? That's how many's left. Okay? So was it too much? Yeah, but, but not by much. Now, I'm not going to fertilize these. Uh, They'll fix nitrogen from the air. Look up beans. Uh, this humidity is killing me. I guess it's some, probably 98% relative humidity. It's just taking my breath. Uh, so I'm going to get over here and plant this other set of beans, and I'm probably going to have to be done for the day. We've got a storm coming anyway, uh, coming down from the north, so maybe that'll bring a cold front and cool us off. It's a... Uh, I got in the truck and it says on the thermometer in the truck this morning, right now, just a minute ago, that it's 78 degrees out here. It feels like 78 degrees and 99% relative humidity. It's choking me down. So now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, It'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. 
Okay, now it's time for me to get on to the next thing.